Okay. Um, this is just a quick um, little quick video um, showing you how um, an image, um, as we discussed earlier on the forum online recently, the weekend. Um, can be uh, programmed into, uh, well, loaded into the ANTS uh, uh, spectral synthesizer and um, basically modified and changed and give you some sort of um, sound back, sound playback, you know, the way it works, the whole ANTS synth experience. Um, so, um, all right, let me just uh, stop this um, Tangerine Dream stuff here a minute. Um, all right, yeah, so basically, um, um, yeah, um, yeah, this is the image obtained the other day, um, and, um, the lighthouse, I think, I don't know where it is, the lighthouse in Gravesend, anyway, somewhere, but, um, what we thought we'd try and do is see what we can do, um, get that in there and get something out of it, but, you know, the original image, um, is like black and white but when it goes into the ant synthesizer it sort of changes colors you know through the spectrum of, of sounds you know um, um, and the basic sound you get from that as it is untreated is basically a lot of white a lot of white noise which we'll just play now Um, so, as you can see, I can try and um, change the um, visualisation a bit here to stop that from glowing. And uh, if you take a little bit closer, you can actually see how slow it's going across. But as you can see, because it's... Um, And if you wanted to put the speed, if you want to increase the speed a bit, um, a bit, you can do that just by um, just slow it up, uh, raise it up a bit, say it's about there, so it just goes along quickly. Um, and then you get that kind of thing. Okay, not a fantastic thing there, a lot of white noise, because that's what it tends to happen if you put light stuff in the background, which I was explaining, you get, you know, it's like on the glass uh, ink, on the ink on the glass, it's all like uh, see-through, like it's transparent, so all the light goes through, you get all this noise. So what I did is I took that image and I put it into GIMP, GIMP software, and I, I inverted it basically into another uh, into uh, something slightly different so it's more black and white I inverted the black to the white and the white to the black uh, and uh, I'll just load that now that one that image there yeah that's the inverted one so you get this so that's a slightly different one there see a little bit better um, a bit more detail you know so you know so that's the kind of thing you get there and so the sound that you're likely to get is going to slightly differ. There we are. So you've got something slightly better there, slightly different, slightly more detailed. If you go into the detail a bit more, you can see where everything's sort of going on. So you can, um, again, if you want to put the glow on, you 
and then you can maybe screen in a bit more so you can see basically a bit more what detail a bit more detail what's going on So it sounds a bit like some sort of random sort of noise from, uh, you know, uh, what's his name, Stockhausen or someone, Carl Stockhausen, you know, made a lot of noise music. Um, if you zoom in a bit more, you can see every, every detail what's going on. It's quite amazing. And the Ants synthesizer, once again, I made a mistake the other day by saying it had 144 tones, it has about 700 over 700 different like notes and tones that can be played at the same time you know so there you go so also what you can do is you can you know not only that but you can um, you can actually change the um, things like um, contrast if you wanted to add a bit more effect on it like uh, you can change the effects on these quite well um, like just by going in here um, you can select all, obviously you're going to select select it all. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Right, so there, yeah, we want to select all. So we can select all, select it all, what you want, for example. Uh, yeah. There, so you can select it. I should be able to actually just click Control A really, and it uh, does it. But but anyway, and apart from that, you can add an effect to that. So if you wanted to, you could add a bit more contrast to that if you wanted to. So you go down here, you say how much of that do you want? Well, we'll give quite a bit, a bit there contrast, <coughs> and mix it in. We don't want too much, I suppose, mixing with the original. So we'll just keep it kind of like that, and then um, yeah. Just press on contrast, which is there. Where is it? Blah 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 blah. This bloody contrast. There you go. So I don't know. So you can add a bit more contrast if you want. Doesn't seem to be much more there. So we'll mix it in a bit more. Have a full mix, basically. Full mix of it. <coughs> Might have contrast a bit like that. <coughs> so again, you've got a bit more, a bit more contrast, a bit sharper. So, but as I say, all this stuff I'm showing you on here, all you've got to do is go to the uh, the link at the bottom of the description on YouTube, you know, and. Um, to the Ants website by Alexander Zolotov or warmplace.ru go to Ants and there's loads of videos like he's done on this stuff you know which shows you a little bit more you know uh, it's more simplified sort of less real time or more like tutorial like you know screen only but there you go um, get rid of the visualizations There you go, so you've got a bit more close up there. And if you wish to, I mean, you can actually... Um, you can increase the limit if you want. Now also, you see you've got beats per minute. So you can go there. There you go, you see, so you've got more of an indication now, faster than the detail. And also, uh, you can do other lots of things in here. Uh, for example, random frequency. The random frequency, as it basically means that ha the way that's drawn, the frequency will come out of the way it's drawn. So, but if I put a random frequency to increase randomness, then the notes will play, the frequencies will be more random. So it'll sound different.
and also um, I'm going to select all on this thing yeah I've selected all that's good so basically yeah so you can um, yeah do the contrast again and uh, random frequencies go into project random frequency beats per minute knock that down a bit okay so there you go so you've got a bit more and again you see you can put reverb on it if you want blah 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 reverb if you want anything and you can add noise to it as well another thing you can do is control that and another effect you can do is for example vertical blur or horizontal blur there you are, you've blurred it you see so you get a different sound again that sounds quite nice actually it looks like a foggy day in Gravesend that sounds quite nice actually vertical blur very spacey yeah so and uh, you know there's all sorts of other things you can do like for example if you wanted to you could actually make a brush out of that you could just play that play where you've selected there move it over move it over anywhere you want right press enter yeah or you can just uh, control yeah, there. I'll just play that there and you can move that over again somewhere else so there's that side of things okay um, and you could actually make a brush if you wanted to do with that selection hmm if you wanted to you could actually make a brush out of that particular uh, sound uh, don't know which way you do that actually uh, all right okay um, let's just put a pause on that a minute and uh, come back in a minute just to time I've fucked around the field of bits and pieces. Alright, so what I've done here is I've made a brush out of it, a uh, small like, tool, tool brush, and what I'll do now is just make a new project there. Same thing again. New one, I've made a brush there now. Hmm. So I've made a brush out of that last image. And if you look at it closely, these are all the notes. There's a lot there going on. You know. So I could draw anything on there if I wanted to. There you go. You see? All those things there. From that last image of the lighthouse, we've done that. It needs to go a bit faster. So if we just increase the speed a little bit. Increase speed per minute to say something like that. Okay, that should start playing now. And that makes a tool, everything. Very strange. Well, that's the tool brush, okay? So you can make a tool brush you can out of that, and then um, just dab it into another, uh, into another plate, and just uh, to another plate, and do the same thing. Duplicate. Also, you can also use MIDI, as I said before, to be able to control, control the sounds, and play the sounds, which I'll show you. I'll show you now, uh, a little bit now about that. Hang on a minute. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, back to where we were before. Uh, we've connected to the MC909 again. So that we can show you how that sound, this here, we can actually play using the 909 keyboard. You see it's moving along there now. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just demonstrate how sound, how we can uh, play the um, oh, glow animation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so you can see it there playing as well, and then we can just play it in here. We're using this keyboard here, connected to the MC909, where you play pads only. You go into mix in, and you can play pads only. 
I've put the arpeggiator actually on this one on as well, but if you want to just have it on its own, you'd have it like that. So you actually see it there playing. So you can actually play different notes. You can play that whole thing that's playing off the ants. You can play through here. Even arpeggiate it if you want. So, and you can put it onto hold if you want it to come through here. Put this whole key on hold so you can. So, there you are. And then you can just change the pitch as you're running through it. And you can reduce it even to a lower octave. Take it up an octave. So there's loads of stuff, like I say, you can do it, you know, you can change the whole nature of the sound. There you go, so there you go, there's a rough thing there where we're using the MC-909, obviously. So, um, switch the whole button to off. So there you go. So that's basically just a thing how, like, images, how you can use images, um, you know, in, in ants. Um, you know, I mean, there's various other ways you can do it as well. You know, I mean, there's various other ways, there's lots of other ways you can do it. Um, you know, there's lots of different types of images you can put in and, uh, you know, fuck around with it to your heart's content. But anyway. Um, let's just see that anyway, let's just see how that works, uh, any problems, any questions, but well, as I say, that's, that's the idea, okay, um, and we'll just fiddle around and just, um, fiddle around with it until, um, we get it right, basically, because uh, basically none of us really know what we're doing in here, um, it's all experimental, so, um, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, what can you say, you know, you can only do, you know, um, but that's quite a nice picture that um that um you know um that's quite a nice picture that it's good and there's loads of other stuff as well i mean it's quite easy to do once you get to know how to do it it's very easy to do no problem at all okay then well um uh, have a good evening and um we'll talk to you soon and maybe next time we'll um play around with the audio sound coming from say the mc909 and creating a sound creating a visualization from audio either from a MIDI source, which we tried tonight unsuccessfully, unfortunately, or from an audio source. All right then, best of luck to everybody. Good laban.